Hi, welcome to my Bifold Door Tools uh, Ruby that I just created. It goes along very nicely with my Door Tools uh, uh, menu that I did a couple of years ago and also my Windows Tools uh, Ruby. So let's get started. So I go to View, Toolbars, and let's click on this to get highlight the icon. There's the new icon. There's only one icon, so let's click on that. So what we have here by default, all of all the bifolds are drawn on the doors layer. There, the door types. There are two types of bifolds: panel and slab. The door position. There are six to choose from. A two-pair arrangement: open or closed. A sliding door, which I've included, open or closed, and the two pairs of bifolds, open or closed. Uh, as well, there's door hardware as knobs, pull or none, and then there's also a door settings menu, which I'll talk about in a moment. Let's take the default click the top corner, look at the VBR down below, click the top right hand corner and then choose the bottom. Now be sure that you align directly in the face so you don't miskew the, uh, the door in the opening. Click the third point and there's your door. And uh, let's just zoom in. You can see that even the pivots uh, have been included, uh, top and bottom of course. And uh, let's go again, buy full doors. Let's do a um, let's do the same panel, but let's this time let's take two pairs and let's put a pull this time and let's go for the door settings menu, which which says no by default, but let's say yes, and we say okay. A second menu now appears where you can now adjust the bifold door style width. That's the style and the rail and the rail width can be adjusted and also the bifold. Uh, hardware height of uh, this, uh, the hardware can be adjusted. So let's make these the rail width, uh, say, let's make that six inches. We click OK, install our bifold, and there we are. By the way, I should mention that uh, we're showing glass in these openings, but of course, if you go to your materials browser and you can check to see this material can be edited and it could be made solid and of course the color can change to anything you want so uh, you can definitely do uh, change your opacity back to whatever you want with that material let's go in and this time let's go by folds there's let's go choose a uh, sliding door open and we'll say okay it's going to have the same settings that we selected previously so there is our bifold door and if that's not open enough for you well you can slide that door along whoops to close it and finally uh, let's say that you wanted to uh, put uh, some shutters on the outside so we can go by full doors again in this particular case so we'll choose uh, a slab this time slab and we'll show uh, yeah one pair now let's go with two pair open and uh, we don't do, want any pulls on that And now we have shutters on the outside of our window. Thank you for watching. Now there's one other thing that you should know that if you go to say Windows and turn on your layers, you'll notice that what has been drawn is not only the door on the door layer, but by default also the, the door swing has uh, been drawn but it is shown invisible so if I turn off my doors and turn on the door swing you can see that the door swing are uh, indicated and uh, if you're creating 2d plans that's going to be quite helpful uh, that all your doors will be already in place for you to use in addition I have included eight pictures of bifolds that you can use to dress up your bifolds for presentation.